Hey, City of Negative, just Amy Mahaffey here to talk to you in our newest episode of Cues from You about local shopping. Uh, as you know, we have reinvented and reinvigorated the Shop Neck First campaign. And uh, this is the campaign that started about 10 years ago. And the last video we posted, I'm so excited, but y'all had some awesome questions and some really great discussion about shopping locally, the challenges that you see, and just some really good questions that we want to dive into a little bit today. And so one of the questions from Facebook that we saw um, from one of our actual, our local hairdressers, Ashley Green, uh, was how does it how does it help Nacogdoches when I shop online? And so we're going to dig into that a little bit. So what we, we say is that um, any place that has a presence in Texas, when you shop online, the tax dollars are remitted back to the city of Nacogdoches. And so for example, Walmart, when you get online and you do your grocery pickup, we have a presence not only in Nacogdoches, in Texas, but in Nacogdoches. And so those sales tax stay in our community. Uh, in addition to that, when you shop online, let's say you get online and you shop at Best Buy uh, and you don't go to Lufkin to shop at Best Buy, you shop online at Best Buy. They see your zip code is Nacogdoches and those tax dollars are remitted to Nacogdoches. And so we really want to encourage online shopping. We think that, you know, that's the way of the world. We're not going to get everybody here locally in Nacogdoches to go out and shop locally right here in town all the time. And so we realize that online is a reality. The world has changed and the way that we uh, access different goods has changed. And so we kind of want you to just stop and think before you shop, um, before you drive to Lufkin or before you go to Tyler and go shopping in a bigger town. You know, if you if you take the time and you plan ahead to get it online, then we will see the benefit to that. And so that's something that not a lot of people know. They think, well, I shopped online. Those tax dollars went somewhere else. And so uh, we really just want to make sure that people understand that, you know, there are ways that you can help our community and still have that ease of shopping online. Uh, we also have a lot of local businesses like Macy May here downtown mm -hmm. that just launched their brand new website where you can sit at home in the evening and uh, maybe get Christmas gifts for people or do different things and uh, shop on your phone and, and use their local websites. Um, Lowe's, Walmart, all of our bigger box stores, Belk is a great example. They have online presence and so you can get online, buy what you need and have it shipped to your front door without having to go and uh, fight the people at the store. I have two little ones at home. I like to shop online just as much as anybody else to keep me from having to uh, wrangle car seats and kids in and out of the car. And so I get it. I get it more than anybody. And so we really uh, want to encourage you to shop online and get what you need. And uh, a big purpose of this campaign is just to get you to stop and think, like I said, and, and to think about, you know, where, where, what am I doing? And we want to, of, co of course, encourage you to first always support our local brick and mortar stores, uh, our mom and pop shops, especially downtown at our local farmer's market, things like that, um, because that benefits our community in more ways than just tax dollars, because this is definitely about more than just tax dollars. But um, if you have to shop online and you have to to get something from your phone and you want to shop in the evenings while you're after you've cooked dinner or whatever you're doing at home, that's okay too. And we want to make sure that you're educated and how that can also help our community. Um, so let's say you tried Nacogdoches, you couldn't find what you were looking for. You looked online, you couldn't find what you were looking for, or you, you just need something and they can't ship it to you in time or whatever. That's okay. We get it. You're going to go out of town to shop and, and we, and we understand that. But the, point of this campaign is that you tried, you thought about how it was going to affect your community, and now you hopefully know that online businesses and an online presence can help, you know, kick back here locally as well. Um, the other thing we get a lot of questions about is Amazon. And so uh, those of you who want to support local businesses on Amazon, uh, I went in and looked at my orders the other day. There are a lot of ways that Amazon shopping um, contributes back here locally. And so um, there's Amazon fulfillment centers, there's Amazon uh, marketplaces, and, and they have goods and services. Um, I ordered some cleaning supplies the other day. Those tax dollars are going to come back to the city because we have Amazon has a presence here locally. Uh, there was another thing I bought. I bought a, my kid wants to be a cat for Halloween because she walks around and meows at people all the time. So we figured let's make her a cat. That'll be fun. Well, the, um, 
the the costume maker i wasn't going to make a costume myself because that would be a disaster uh that was a like a third party vendor through amazon there were no tax dollars that uh, were remitted here through that because she's out of state and it's a local artisan that's out of state that makes costumes and it was shipped here and that kind of thing and so um while that's not always ideal and we want to shop local, we get that, you know, I, the cat costume I wanted had to come from that lady and that's okay too. Um, but there are a lot of times that the Amazon per- purchases that we make um, will still benefit our community as well. And so uh, now hopefully you have a little more education about how it works in our community. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully now you have a little more education about uh shopping locally in our community. And um, we do want to let you know that we always encourage you to, you know, of course, shop NAC first. Uh, here uh, here in a few weeks, the Saturday after Thanksgiving is our very popular Wassel Fest. All of our downtown merchants will be making Wassel and you can walk around downtown and get all of your Christmas shopping done and try out some Wassel. It's also Small Business Saturday. And so that plays right into us wanting you to shop NAC first. And we hope that you do in one way or another. So uh, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.